It came 19 years late, but today Aung San Suu Kyi finally received her honorary degree from Oxford University. Myanmar's pro-democracy leader donned cap and gown to receive her civil law doctorate to wide applause. Suu Kyi was under house arrest for more than 15 years by Myanmar's military government and is making her first round of visits outside her native country since that detention was lifted. Joining me now is author Peter Popham. He has written a biography of Aung San Suu Kyi titled The Lady and the Peacock. So good to see you. Well, this must be such an emotional moment to have her in the UK, going to Oxford. She's going to speak to it at Westminster. Uh, this is really a moment to finally signify the end of, of this ordeal. Yes, that's right. And I think uh, the last two days have been the most emotional so far because uh, she lived in Oxford for more than 15 years altogether, first as a student and later as a, as a wife and mother bringing up her two sons there. So to come back after all this time, 24 years, has been clearly it was in her face and in her speech that she gave in Oxford this morning, it's clear that, that it was uh, an amazing, amazing feeling for her. Now, she spoke at the London School of Economics yesterday, but there have been other moments this week. This whole week has been amazing because she went to Oslo, of course, to finally accept the Nobel and also appeared with Bono uh, in her honor on Monday in Oslo. I mean, there have been a series of events to signify that she's finally free. Does this really mean that her political future is in any way guaranteed? Well, I mean, I think it's, it's clear that she could go back to Burma. She's now an elected MP. Um, there's been talk about her perhaps being made a minister in the government. But I think the sights, her sights and her party's sights are set on 2015 when the next general election will be held in Burma. Um, and if it goes like the by-election held a little earlier this year, her party is going to do very, very well. Um, and so, finally, we may see... Um, her and her party beginning to have some power in the country. And of course, she met with Hillary Clinton who, uh, in Myanmar last December. And I remember back in 1995, Hillary Clinton first speaking out in Beijing and then speaking out about Aung San Suu Kyi and making, elevating the whole issue of women's rights and political rights. And so there was a real bond between them, uh, these two powerful women in completely uh, different parts of the world in different circumstances. Yeah, I think it was a very strong meeting. Um, uh, Suu Kyi has been, has been very clear about the importance of Hillary Clinton's support and the support of America for her cause uh, for many years. And I think Hillary Clinton in particular ha must have had lessons to give her, things to tell her about the, the change from being an activist, which of course she has been for 24 years, to uh, being a, an active politician with all the difficult compromises and so on, which that necessarily involves. Peter Popham, the biographer of Aung San Suu Kyi. Thank you very much. The book is The Lady and the Peacock. Thank you. And we thank you for joining us.